Under the morning sun in West Texas, Jeff Bezos in a cowboy hat crossed the bridge into a capsule made by his company Blue Origin. Jeff Bezos and the three crew members travel between space within 15 minutes. Amazing, isn't it? In this video, let's explore how the world's richest man travels and swift the aerial environment in luxury. The good thing about Jeff Bezos is that he doesn't hesitate to show off his immense wealth, and he regularly updates the public about his incredible purchases. See a great way he goes from place to place, and you can be confident that he will never travel less than the ultimate style and luxury car. It's easy to imagine that you can cruise a yacht on a canal in every city Bezos visits. It's not hard to imagine him shopping on a yacht just to buy potatoes with an octopus. Sounds plausible, but Bezos actually relies on a garage full of luxury cars for his city trips. You can imagine what a collection of 21 million cars would look like, but it's hard to guess what his favorite car is. It's a $2,000 1997 Honda Accord. Bezos is for this particular car. That was the first time he bought it when he became a billionaire in 1997. Despite having $12 billion at the time, he chose a practical one over a flashy one, and to this day, Honda is his car of choice. But his garage has cars on every occasion. For an audience with an opening ceremony, an elite event, or a world-dominated 5D lizard, Amazon's CEO will probably drive 75,000 Lincoln Stretch limousines. The inside of the car is as exciting as the outside. It has comfortable leather seating, a mini bar, and all the facilities that a luxury sedan can offer. Jeff can pull out 80,000 Cadillac Escalades whenever he's ready to show off in front of a soccer mom, a car that has become synonymous with the elite and often finds its place in music videos of people who claim to be successful but can only rent a car for a few hours. The Bezos garage is full of ultra-luxury cars. If you have the chance to visit this stunning car museum, you'll find a sophisticated Mercedes-Benz S450 worth $94,000, a Range Rover Sport SUV for $115,000, and some unique sports models that most people in the world can't afford. Among them is the $3 million Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio, of which only six are in production. If there were no Bugatti Veyrons in the garage, could anyone really call themselves millionaires? Bezos is the proud owner of this model's $3.4 million car, so you won't lose sleep with this question. But it's not the pinnacle of his collection. Both the $4 million W Motors Lycan Hypersport and a Koenigsegg CCXR Traviata cost Bezos $4.8 million. The real cream of the collection is the Lamborghini Veneno of Bezos, which costs about $5 million. The car is famous for many things, but mostly for being the most expensive car on the market. The vehicle is an ultra-luxurious sports car of which there are only four in the entire world. Now that's how a true billionaire should go to pick up his laundry, although there isn't much space in the car to put it in if you ask me. While other billionaires have one lavish super yacht to travel by, Jeff Bezos must have found this a bit modest or he might have been captivated by the glory of the British Navy in their heyday. Anyway, Bezos obviously is determined to be the king of the seven seas as he owns a whole fleet of ultra-luxurious yachts with a combined price tag well above $1 billion. Flying Fox is arguably the flagship of Bezos' fleet. This super-luxury superyacht went into service in 2019 and was built by the renowned German yacht designer company Larsen. The 446-foot cruiser cost Bezos a cool $400 million, which, to be honest, he probably continues to change. With a sleek design, this ship combines both aggressive lines and unmistakable class and is truly engineering. Flying Fox has two helicopters, as Bezos may want to transport his luggage by another helicopter so that no one believes this ship belongs to the beggar. 
The boat accommodates 25 guests in a super luxurious environment. All living spaces, including 11 cabins, are luxuriously decorated with designer furniture, golden touches, and genuine works of art. In addition, the yacht has a 400 square foot spa with a retractable roof that allows guests to enjoy natural vitamin D while being treated like a god on Mount Olympus. Of course, there is a private cinema on board, with ultra-luxury and comfortable seating and first-class facilities and sound. Is Bezo subscribing to Amazon Prime? Finally, if Jeff gets tired of being treated like a god, he can carry one of the many toys such as jet skis, water skis, sea bob kayaks, scuba gears, paddle boards, and more. Bezos even proposes to rent this sky that floats in the ocean essentially for pocket change. A week on a boat will cost you about $3 million. The Flying Fox is not the most luxurious yacht for the Amazon owner. Bezos' most valuable possession is actually the Ocean Co. Y721, which is certainly unimaginative when it comes to its name. The ship is 417 feet long and custom designed to accommodate all of Jeff's desires. This floating palace may be a bit smaller than the Flying Fox, but it certainly is not cheaper. The boat, which desperately needs a new name, and along with being sophisticated, it will be the most eco-friendly yacht a billionaire has ever bought. Ocean Co. Y721 is a sailing yacht allowing the enormous vessel to cross the ocean without using any fuel. Being green, as one frog became famous for saying, isn't easy, and Bezos had to make some pretty hard cuts on his new yacht. For example, he would be able to accommodate only 18 guests in a mega-luxurious setting. In addition, the new boats that ride the waves every day have one master bedroom, two VIP suites, and several double-guest cabins. Undoubtedly, Bezos' biggest blow was that his new yacht had only a heliport, a pool, and a small cinema. We all have to make sacrifices to save the planet. To finish this bit, he bought some small yachts and another big yacht for service yachts. Even if she is inferior to the Flying Fox and the Ocean COY721, the service yacht is far better equipped than most other yachts in the world. It still has some exceptional features and its own heliport. The waves sound fun, but yachting can be time-consuming and it's imperative for a businessman like Bezos to get to their destination as soon as possible. The solution is, of course, obvious. Flight. The carriage and flight is always on the table, but the Amazon owner prefers to keep it for special occasions and usually travel by their super luxury and very expensive private jets. Yes, that's right, Bezos actually has two top-of-the-line Gulfstream G650ERs tailored to the stringent demands of the Amazon's CEO. Jeff had to pay about $150 million to put these two engineering masterpieces in the hangar. Each plane offers four separate living areas for guest entertainment. The interior is spacious, thanks to the minimalistic vibe. The 16 abnormally large oval windows also help to make the plane seem much bigger on the inside, while at the same time it offers one truly stunning view of the Earth below. All seats on these magnificent private planes can become comfortable beds for longer travels, and the G650ER can definitely deliver long flights. Its range is one of the highest of any non-military aircraft. At the equator, you can travel 8,630 miles without the need to refuel, which is more than a quarter of the circumference of the Earth. The Bezos jet can accommodate up to 19 guests without sacrificing the unparalleled luxury you receive during flight. Both planes are equipped with high-tech gadgets and Wi-Fi so Amazon CEOs can monitor their businesses wherever they fly. But the best thing about these private jets is the luxurious kitchen where flight attendants can prepare delicious food and drinks for Bezos and his guests. Amazon owners are known to be weird about this breakfast and prefer octopus to traditional English breakfast. Therefore, you can see multiple gorgeous dishes in these kitchens. 
I'm sure you can sleep better tonight knowing that another millionaire will not compromise on their food preferences. So, which part of Bezos' travel life impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked and enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more insightful videos, get notified by clicking the bell button below. From the high-end stories of today, this has been Modern Luxury. As always, we look forward to seeing you again in one of our videos. Thanks for watching.